this torrential downpour here in Maine. Thank goodness today, uh, since we were doing fireworks last night and better raining today than during fireworks. Um, so because it's raining and I'm teaching Prana Shakti literally this coming Saturday, so not even a week away. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I've been here all day in the rain practicing my Prana Shakti invocations and techniques. Um, I've been having a lot of fun doing spoon bending with Prana Shakti here. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's really silly, but, um, you know, I've been talking about manifestation and I think the best way to learn manifestation or to practice any healing modality is, um, through fun, you know, incorporate joy, fun, love, silliness, pure enjoyment into the practice and um, you kind of learn it better. Uh, so <laughs> I've been really having a good time with that. And also since I'm still healing my broken wrist, which is a lot better after the librarian stepped in. Hi Unity, hello. <laughs> um, I've been practicing the uh, Pranashakti healing on my wrist. Oh my God, what a difference that makes. So good. So some of you have contacted me asking, what do I mean about manifestation? Because certainly that's a word that gets tossed around a whole lot. And really manifestation, it's something every one of us does every day in our lives. It is uh, allowing your dream to become reality. And um, I have been lucky that I've trained in manifestation techniques with many holy, divine, sacred people from all around the world of different practices. So uh, being true to my Akashic Library temperament, I have studied and learned a variety of ways of manifesting. But there's also like 3D in life manifesting. You know, if you have a plan and you like, like any small business owner, you know, you write up your business proposal, you make your plan, your action plan, you get your spreadsheets, you work hard, you do your marketing, you do your finance, you get your clients, you grow your business. That's as much manifesting as, uh, you know, spoon and fork bending is manifesting as uh, my beautiful house. And oh, this is my living room. <laughs> I have a, that's actually a, a seven foot circular hammock in a like nine foot teardrop frame. And I've got my gongs over there and a whole bunch of crystals and drums and stuff. So it's a living room for me <laughs> since I'm alone. I don't need to set it up like for other people. It's just set up for me. Uh, Anyway, for me, this ma house, I manifested it. I worked with the librarians and this is literally my dream house that basically was given to me. That's a long story. Or, um, you know, we're selling my mom's house and she and I did a manifestation together that the whole process would go smoothly and she would get the, a certain dollar amount she wanted and it would all happen very quickly and effortlessly. Um, and the house is supposed to go on the market months from now, but it's already sold f to like a wonderful family for the amount we wanted and it was smooth and effortless because we aligned all the energies and the frequencies and invited that which would you know, bring to us what we, what we crave into reality. Um, and <laughs> okay. So, you know, there, there were ways to manifest. Um, I will be doing an online manifestation class and it'll be like three months long because we're going to explore all different techniques and purposes everywhere from, you know, um, uh, 
putting your life in alignment with that which you desire to having what you need just magically appear for you. And, you know, it's when you put it all together and you realize, like, it's not just one way of doing it. It's um, total alignment. I don't know how to explain that, but you know when you're in the groove, it's about getting your desires in the groove with your reality. And there's no one way to do it. There's so many ways. I have manifested solid objects out of thin air. I have manifested people into my life. Um, and all of you have done that or similar yourselves. It's something we all do natively and naturally. So, like I said, it's raining, I'm goofing around, I'm playing with mangling silverware that at some point I'll turn into art, uh, you know, artistic structures. I make little people out of it <laughs> and things like that. Um, and practicing my prana shakti. So I put a link for the prana shakti class, which is my first in-person class in over three and a half years. I'm very excited about that. And uh, that will be in McLean, Virginia on Saturday, July 8th. So if you're interested, feel welcome to check that out. And then I'll be in Virginia all summer. So I look forward to uh, hanging out with whoever is around or if anyone wants me to teach anything while I'm there, we can put it together. I'm going to manifest my best ever summer and you all are welcome to join me. <laughs> okay. Uh, catch up with you all later. I think I might take a nap in that hammock. And, you know, childlike love. Thank you, Unity. Um, childlike love, just pure joy, no matter what's going on in your life. Because trust me, I got all the same 3D stuff that I got to deal with that everyone else has. But you can let yourself become stressed out and anxious because of what's in your life. That's like a fear-based way of being, and I'm there myself plenty of times. Or you can say, at this moment, there's nothing causing anxiety in my current moment except myself. And again, that's part of manifestation, learning how to be at your highest frequency of the moment, which is not, you know, always high up there sometimes your highest frequency is down here but learning to release whatever heaviness doesn't serve for the moment big 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 part of manifestation and for my opinion that's a big part of what makes learning manifestation like really good because it chills you out and it brings fun <laughs> and stuff you want Okie dokie. I will catch up with you all later and I hope to see whoever is in Virginia, Maryland, DC area come join me this Saturday as that will be very high energy and lots of fun. And I'm bringing my aura camera so we can all photograph our auras. Okay, thank you. Bye. And yep, still raining. <laughs> Bye.